For countless years, people have used silver and gold as their primary currency. And over those years, some of it was lost, stashed, or otherwise taken and hidden from history. These are the stories of America's buried treasures in your neck of the woods. Today's tale takes us to Knox County, Tennessee, for the story of what some call America's first serial killers. There are several treasure tales associated with the Hart brothers throughout Tennessee and Kentucky. If you live in that area, you've likely heard of at least one. But have you thought about the bandits, outlaws, and highwaymen hiding these treasures? This is the story of such men. The Harp brothers, Micah, Big Harp, and Wiley, Little Harp, are thought to be America's first serial killers. This story starts out way back when the country was new. During the American Revolution, the Hart brothers were loyal to the British Crown. After the war was lost, they became highwaymen and murderers, robbing settlers of their wagons and livestock, along with any valuables they were carrying. They were said to have broken into people's homes during the night, killing the residents while they slept, taking anything of value. Men, women, children, it didn't matter. The two were soulless. In 1794, they wound up with the Chickamauga Cherokee in the village of Nickajack, around present-day Chattanooga, for 12 or 13 years, where they kidnapped two women, Maria Davidson and Sally Wood, whom they shared amongst themselves as wives. By 1797, they were living in a little cabin on Beaver Creek near Knoxville. They were driven away from the area by the town of Knoxville for stealing people's horses and hogs. And they were accused of killing a man, filling his chest cavity with rocks, and disposing of his body in a river. This became their signature way of getting rid of the bodies. They fled to Kentucky on Wilderness Road near Cumberland Gap, then continued north on their killing spree, killing and robbing no less than four more people before a posse was in pursuit, finally catching them in Dansville, Kentucky, where they were jailed in a state prison. But they escaped. Before leaving town, the Harps are said to have, in retaliation, killed the son of the man who had led authorities to them. The escape led to the Kentucky governor to place a $300 reward for each of the men's heads. By spring of 1799, the Harps continued their spree, killing and pillaging as they moved their way north to a safe house. By this time, Big Harp had the two women he had kidnapped as wives and the children they had bore. Wiley had reportedly married Sally Rice, who bore his children. They were all supposed to be in hiding in a little cabin in Kentucky, near a friend of the brothers, Moses Stiegel. The Hart brothers continued on, killing and robbing everyone they came across. By the time they had reached the Gall's home in Webster County, Kentucky, Big Harp had admitted to killing 28 people. Although it is believed the number was between 40 and 50 people, just trying to make a living in the frontier. But they weren't done. While staying at the Stigall home, Micah Harp became enraged when the child of Mrs. Stigall would not stop crying. It said that Big Heart slit the child's throat and when the mother screamed at the sight, she was also killed. They both fled after the incident and a new posse was formed to track them down, including Moses Stiegel, Micah and Wiley's friend, who had not only allowed them to stay at his home, but had been providing for their wives and children prior to their arrival. 
They headed west, killing and robbing anyone and everyone, young or old. On August 24, 1799, the posse had tracked them down to a place now known as Harps Head Road, along modern Highway 41 in Webster County, Kentucky. It was here that the brothers attempted to flee when Big Harp was shot in the leg and side. Wiley escaped, but Micah had seen his last sunset. As he sat against a tree dying, Moses Stiegel, the father of the wife and son he had killed while staying in his home as a guest, walked up behind the dying man, pulling out a knife and slowly severing the head of the outlaw. The head was said to have been placed on a poplar tree that had been sharpened to a point. The head was impaled on the tree. It remained there for years as a warning to outlaws and criminals that their actions would not be tolerated and today still bears his name. While the tree itself has fallen, the stump is still reportedly there, along with the ghost of Micah Harp, who said to haunt the area. Wiley, who had escaped, rejoined a band of river pirates at Cave in Rock, called the Mason Gang. He stayed with them till January 1804, when he and another gang member were caught trying to collect on a wanted man's bounty. Wiley had come to town with the head of the gang's leader, Samuel Mason. It's unknown if Wiley killed Mason, or if he had died of something else. But while trying to collect the bounty, the two were recognized by a man Wiley had stabbed a few years earlier. They were apprehended and tried, found guilty, and sentenced to hang, in which they did. Their heads were also severed and placed on poles outside town on the Natchez Trace. While this story doesn't talk much about treasure, it gives you an insight to just how ruthless men can be. The two are credited with several bank, store, and home robberies, with unknown riches being recovered from the victims. While I'm sure they buried caches all over, the place I would look to go is the little cabin on Beaver Creek in Knox County. It was there. They had settled and lived until being forced out by the locals, who I'm sure didn't give them much time to pack. I think it'd be there where you might be able to find something hidden long ago. Perhaps you can contact Micah Harp Spectre at Harp's Head Road and convince him to give up a secret or two. I'm sure it's out there. Are you digging it? Good luck. Happy hunting. Keep on digging it. Please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Hit that notification button to follow me on YouTube. Thanks for stopping in. Hope you enjoyed. Good luck. Happy hunting. Keep on digging. For even more to explore, check out these other videos.